Hey guys, I'm William Rack from Running Injury Free Revolution. Now I've been running out today at UQ and what I've been doing is just enjoying this beautiful day but I want to take a moment to stop and make a video that can hopefully help you in your running. I want to talk first of all about the phases of running. Now in running, classically it's broken down into two phases. Those phases are the support phase and also the movement phase or the swing phase. So I'll show you what we mean by that. Classically as a runner, what people tend to do is they run and in this point, their body is in this complete support phase. At this point, our knees bend generally, our hips come down, and our body takes on a lot of that pressure. So we'll be getting a lot of pressure through our knees, and also a lot of pressure will be riding up to our hips. At this point, people generally then push off. When they push off, they're generally using their Achilles and their calves to generate movement. And what that's gonna do is, it's gonna eventually make our calves and Achilles a lot tighter and also going to generate a lot of build up of pressure can even result in a general rupture with overuse. So what I want to try and promote as a runner is trying to ensure that we're not doing too much of a, contact, a support phase. Instead of that what we basically want to be achieving is a very rapid contact phase so we have um, a shorter stride and a quicker cadence and making sure that our feet are coming away from the ground almost as they're making contact. I'm going to start with my feet and just move up really quickly and show you a few ways of achieving that. So first of all, instead of stopping and bending the knee, we want to make sure that our knees are a lot straighter. So when we land, generally, we want our, our knee to be only slightly bent and if anything, fairly straight and almost aligned with the hip. So we just want to make our knees nice and soft. When we hit the ground, we want our feet to be slightly behind our hips. So instead of landing and striding forward in front of our hips, we just want that foot to be placed behind our hips nicely there. We also then want a quick stride. So instead of reaching out too far, we just want to be achieving very short steps as we run. We create movement obviously using our bodies at a slight angle. So by planting our feet behind our hips, our feet are going to generate a lot faster rate, uh, cadence. So by focusing on a shorter stride length, that's going to help us stay more aligned as the runner and prevent us from overstriding and putting way too much pressure on our joints. Another really key element of this is ensuring that our feet are only moving backwards. If we focus on bringing our feet forward, that's going to promote us to want to push up and again cause that tension on our calves and put that added strain on our Achilles heel. So when we're running tomorrow guys or the day after, if you get a chance to run this week, try and focus on getting rid of that support phase. Try and keep those legs just a bit straighter. Stay a bit straighter as well out the hips. Prevent yourself from dipping down. Instead of dipping down with your hips, try and keep them nice and straight so there's a good alignment between the knee and the hips. If anything, just a slight bend. And making our bodies feel nice and straight. Try and be nice and tall. And get that quick turnover with our feet only moving backwards. All of those things are going to help towards you being a lighter runner. They're also going to help you to have a quicker step and it's going to, most importantly, prevent that pressure riding up through your body. So remember guys, instead of the support phase and the movement phase, concentrate on just having very quick contact with the ground and make sure that our feet are almost bringing us forwards as we hit the ground instead of taking that time to absorb all that pressure through our body. We want you guys to remain injury free and we'll be bringing you more videos soon. So thanks so much and visit us at runninginjuryfreerevolution, which is R-I-F-R-E-V.com. Thanks so much guys and see us again soon for some future videos.